Why you ignore liver most of time? That was a good question. Nah, because everybody thinks the liver's the problem, and I disagree with that. The liver's just an effect like everybody else. The liver's a chemical manufacturing problem, uh, uh, organ. We, we tend to think the liver's the detoxifying organ of the body, blah, 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 blah. I disagree with that thinking. It's an internal organ that does not eliminate to the outside world. Matter of fact, blood flows through and, and, and to, the, to the lungs to get oxygenated. It's a chemical manufacturing plant. It transmutates chemistry. Everybody calls the liver a detoxifying organ. I don't see too much of that. Detoxifying means cleaning to the outside world. Liver does transmutate chemistry though. In a way, you could call that a little detoxifying. But it, it moves uh, you know, sugars into glycogen and glycogen into sugars. It transmutates uh, all kinds of things. Silicon to calcium. It can do all kinds of things. I mean, gosh. Just pick up an A and P book and read on the livers, and we still don't know half of it. We still don't know. Some of the latest research claims that uh, amino acids can be created by the liver from sugars. I don't know. I mean, all I know is God made a pretty good organ there. That baby's really incredible. You know, liver flushes is spasming the liver, and you really don't need to do any more. The liver isn't a detoxifying organ. Keep that in mind. It's a chemical manufacturing plant. So be cautious about overstressing the liver with coffee enemas and stuff like that. Not the way to get well. You know, the way to get well is pure chemistry. You don't have to overstimulate something and think you're going to shake it and make it do better and things like that. You're after the health of every and every individual cell in the human body. Those cells depend upon both nutrition, of course, lightly put, and, of course, elimination of waste. Uh, here's Mark again. I was curious with taking something like a liver formula before you are filtering be just as beneficial as taking it after you get the kidneys filtered. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but I use the liver formula basically for strengthening the liver, not for cleaning it. I, I, I use the lymph to clean. Uh, I think a lot of the herbs for the liver, gallbladder, are strengthening herbs. They actually get into the cells and strengthen the cells. Get into the kidneys, get into the adrenals, get into the lymph, clean up the bowels. The liver is going to come clean. You can take a liver formula for a month or so, sure, clean it up. But they're always related skin problems with liver, and I don't know why. But you can clean the liver up, of course. Your skin is lymph. See, there's a lot of confusion in that sort of thing, like the liver's a big detoxifying organ or something. It's a chemical transmutation factory. Major chemical transmut transmutation factory. Your lymph system is an entirely different system using the kidneys as the eliminative organs. Remember, wastes have to get out of the body. Why do you think the skin does? Why do we sweat? A lot of people, when they talk about detoxification, they talk about detoxing the liver. The liver is a complex biological transmutation organ. It transmutes chemistry constantly. There is a constant transmutating of chemistry in this organ. It doesn't detox to the outside world. It takes chemistry and ingests from the bowel wall and then takes that chemistry and forms it as the body needs and then sends it off in the blood. So it's, it's actually the, the organ in between uh, absorption and the lungs and heart.